getting around passenger satisfaction during the COVID-19 pandemic attacks mining approach. My name is Daliano Suryantama. We have uh, six outlines here. Introduction, literature reviews, research method, experimental result, discussion, and conclusion. Introduction. The coronavirus 2019 has caused problems for airlines. Major airlines such as Scandinavian Airlines and Virgin have already demanded tens of billions of dollars in government assistance. Custom satisfaction management is critical for the airline industry during the pandemic. Customer satisfaction, according to some study, plays an important role in motivating customer behavioral loyalty, which translates into favorable feedback, repeat purchases, or recommending the product or service to others. Customer satisfaction with the airline service is described as the customer response after receiving the service. The self call model is one of the most reliable tools for determining how airline service impact customer satisfaction. In empirical research, nine proposed soft call as a service quality measurements system focus on the on dimensions such as tangible efficiency, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy. This method was designed to assess consumer preference and attitude in order to determine customer satisfaction. Up to this day, the study wants to answer questions about which serve well factors are the most important for airlines customer during the COVID-19 pandemic. Previous researchers use the questionnaire approach to determine which variable in the self call model dimensions are the most significant attributes for airline customer satisfaction. For the survey method, respondent may not pay attention to every item or randomly answers questions resulting in incomplete data. Online customer reviews, on the other hand, are written by the consumer based on their willingness rather than question forms. So they can be franker than conventional survey, for example, questionnaire surveys, focus groups, or, com or combination of the two. To fulfill those gaps, the study used online customer reviews as a base of data in order to get more natural voices of customers. So we use so. This is the theory we use, interrelationship among circle and customer satisfaction. The interaction interacts between pre-purchase expectation and post-purchase evaluation results in, in customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is set by their expectation to service efficiency, while a circle is based on its expectation, its confirmation theory of practice. It can be inferred that Customer, customer will be satisfied if soft call dimensions are delivered by airlines. Consequently, the study use soft call to measure the customer satisfaction. Text mining. Text mining is a method that incorporates the data mining and natural language processing techniques. Text mining is a powerful technique for extracting market value from the large amount of accessible social media data in the value of social media. 19. Use, use text mining tool to examine Airbnb customer feedback and discover that interestingly price is not known as a key influencer. As, as a result, this research employed text mining technique to determine what airline percentage wants in terms of satisfaction. Please absolute sync and a selection operator we call LASSO. LASSO is a linear model in with simultaneous syncards and variable selection that performs regression and feature selection at the same time and has other benefits such as sparsity and interpretability. 21 use text analysis to detect manager frauds risk and discover that LASSO is substantially more accurate than convex optimization. The study employs LASSO to extract the most relevant consideration from online customer feedback in order to assist manager in making trade off while providing service to their customers. SVM. SVM is supervised learning algorithm that is based on the statistical theory and the, and the structural risk minim minimization principle. Because of its usefulness, SVM was found to be superior for machine learning classifiers. 24 used SVM and found it to be successful in evaluating 
the efficiency of filter selection algorithm using movie reviews as a data source. The efficiency of lasso is evaluated using XPM in this study. This, and then we go to research methods, data collection. This study collected online customer reviews of two of the biggest airline in the Europe from Skytrack. The website allows comment text and uh, 0 to 10 rating score provided by the presenters. Skytrack receives about 1.26 million monthly visitors with 87.47% of those research of those searching using words like islands, air, and reviews. 29 collected customer feedback on Skydrack to assess airline passenger emotion. The total number of reviews was collected. 100 reviews from 22nd March 2020 to, uh, to 26 March 2021. Defining factors. So the study build factors based on the literature reviews. So we use self-called dimension to measure the satisfaction. So we we use the dimension, but we only took for here tangible reliability, responsiveness, and assurance. And then satisfaction is why. And then this is the definition. I don't have to explain it, I think. And then the example words. Example word means that we took single words we took single words based on the adapted from adapted from here we took single words because the adapted because the reference use questionnaires but we don't use questionnaire but so we took their their other uh, significant words in their questionnaire so for example like this uh, employees appearance clean cabin and modern like that because we don't use questionnaire Building lexicons. The study build lexicons by computing word frequencies related to surfqual. Then related single words of surfqual based on the literature reviews were collected by synonyms and antonyms from thesaurus.com to build the whole factors lexicon. Adverb, verb, and adjectives are false, and then they can they can represent customer feelings about their opinion, idea, reaction, and emotion. One of the techniques commonly used to detect surface or products attribute is part of surface, uh, is part of speech, tiger to annotate nouns and noun phrase in customer reviews. Normalizing data. Before the data was run by feature selection method, the data had to be reformatted in advance in order to obtain valid results. The researchers used equation one to normalize the data into interval minus one to one. Beside data normalization, the five fold cross validation experiment will be implemented. The, the data set will be divided into five equal parts. Four parts were used as a training data set, and another one part was used as a test data set. Furthermore, the study did the five fold cross validation experiment. Lasso, MATLAB R. 2017A was used to run lasso algorithm in order to do feature selection simultaneously to get the most important factors to the model from airline customer reviews. Based on the above equation in regression parameter value, beta is limited by the specific penalty selection benchmark given a K explain, explain transformation and the parameter estimate B, beta will be selected for the essential feature, the parameter estimate will be influenced by the value of alpha. There's one special case when the K value approaches infinity, the parameter estimate beta is not limited. And then the estimate will be value determined by the least square method. So the opposite situation is that when K is just to zero for all parameter estimate will be zero. Accordingly, it provides a feature a feature subset according to the coefficient is zero, which, which is not the criterion features that we are looking for. So it means that if the parameter estimate is zero, so it's not important words in our in lasso. Evaluation SPM was employed to evaluate the experimental result from lasso. 
SPM was employed to evaluate the experimental result from lasso. Lip SPM was used to train classifier from the original feature set and chosen feature subset by lasso. The following are states are normalized data. Transform data format, apply RBF kernel function list in equation, apply cross validation to select the best parameter C and gamma, and get the best parameter C and gamma and train SPM. Test using the construct model. Metrics of road accuracy is used to be studied to determine the features are most relevant to the models. The proposed method excellent OA indicate that the function collection and the representation called available information, the higher OA ranking, the better the model's feature are, which is the higher overall accuracy, which is the most the better result, experimental result. Lasso deep feature selection method and rank all those features based on the word occurrence frequency by the five for cross validation experiment with five times appearance. The result has been shown in the table for for one, it showed that responsiveness was the most important attribute for Allen percentage satisfaction. So in this year, we have five, four, four, one, four, two, four, three, four, five. So we just took five time appearance the word the factors. So which is we just get responsiveness. So as I mentioned before, that lasso, if the parameter value is zero, it's not important. So if the parameter, uh, if the parameter value is not zero, so it's important. So we only get responsiveness in here. SPM evaluation. Once Lasso has chosen the most important attributes of Allen customer satisfaction, the evaluation of Lasso performance will be done by SPM, as shown in Table 4.2. The results show that Lasso obtain higher overall accuracy. So it's it, it's a proof that Lasso can get higher overall accuracy than original one. Original one have four factors, but Lasso select the most important. So they so Lasso got responsiveness, and then we evaluate them. So we have Lasso higher overall accuracy, which is 70.77.53 percent compared to the original one is 80 uh, around 58. 0.06 percent discussion it is similar with what 38 found that due to the COVID 19 the efficient industry has had to become even more nimble and responsive responsiveness is one of the most important factor for airline customers since during the COVID 19 pandemic many customers had to cancel the flight due to the flight restriction so they asked for a refund with a fast process. Conclusions. This study aims to get to give managerial implications for manager that can that can give ser service and product to the customer better and meet customer expectation. The first contribution is to know which attributes are the most important factors of customer satisfaction for airlines. The second contribution of the study is to help managers to do trade off in providing service services because during the COVID-19 crisis, airline had faced so many problems. So, so this is the contribution that we can contribute to society and especially to for our manager for airlines. And that, that's all my presentation. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know by sending an email to dalianusriyatama at gmail. So it was a presentation of uh, Dalianus. Unfortunately, Dalianus is not today with us. However, I hope uh, you can send him an email or you can send uh, an email to, to the conference official email to the conference, and then we will just forward it and contact you with uh, Dalianus. Uh, I think it's uh, a useful paper and useful research. 
especially as I said in this COVID time. So uh, because of that, we are going further to the program. And the next one is a paper entitled which accommodation purchasing channels are preferred by the independent tourists. I think it's one uh, survey based research. And the authors are Sharon Taylor Regev, Shlomit Honsnir, and Annabel uh, Lifsis uh, Friendlander. Uh, the presenter, the first presenter will be, I think, the Shaler. Sharon, sorry. And the Sharon, Sharon uh, Taylor Regev, I will just read a couple of a uh, copy of the information from her uh, biography. Sharon holds a PhD in economics from the University of Haifa. She has a Master of Science in economics from the Technion, Israel Institute of Technology, and a Master of Science in hotel administration from the University of Las Vegas. So she, somehow she's between the two fields, let's say. She's a faculty member in the economics and management department at the Max Stern, Max Stern uh, Yezreel Valley College in Israel. And her, her current research interests are the economics of tourism, factors affecting tourism like terror, terror or epidemics and behavioral economics. And the second speaker, I think they, they will somehow present it together, will be the Shlomit Honsnir. Shlomit holds a PhD in economics from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology and University of Haifa. She's a faculty member in the economics and management department at the Max Term uh, Yaxir Valley uh, College in Israel. Her research interests are game theory, ocean theory, learning, industrial organization, information, public economic theory, applied finance, internet economics, behavioral economics, and tourism. So Sharon and Slomit, uh, the floor is yours. Please uh, share your screen and start your presentation. And of course, unmute yourself. Thank you very much. Um, just one second. Can you see it? Can you can, yes, can you I see? Can see? But can you start the? Yes, yes. Just want to make sure that you see it. Okay, so um, as you very well presented us, uh, we work in the Israeli Valley College. I work with collaboration with Shlomit and uh, Annabel, and this research is done on the independent tourists, and I will explain the reason in in, in just a minute. Um, in general, uh, and I'm talking before the COVID-19, which probably ch will change the way we look at tourism. Uh, the international uh, number of tourists exceeds 1 billion in 2012 and continue to grow since then. Uh, the, expense, the expenses of the international tourists reach 1.5 $1.5 trillion, uh, while the percentage of independent tourists in most of the world is around uh, 67% and it continues to grow. Uh, specifically in Israel, uh, most of tourism, the tourism to Israel was based on group to travel, uh, uh, usually pilgrimage, uh, and only in the last few uh, years it, it has changed to the independent tourist. And the Israeli Ministry of Tourism re realized that they don't know enough about the, uh, Israel, the tourists, the independent tourists that come to Israel and what they look for, how they purchase their accommodation and other uh, services. And this research is done uh, to their request and with the funding that we received from them. Uh, the purpose of the research uh, was to focus on the independent tourist visit in Israel and find out uh, what are the preferred channels where they purchase the accommodation. Uh, the uh, characteristics of the independent tourist generally, oops, I'm sorry, uh, generally is that they are very experienced in traveling. They have a lot of knowledge about the destination. They learn about the destination. They use a lot of social media and their expenses are relatively high. Uh, in this research, uh, there were 464 independent tourists to Israel. Um, the research was done in the uh, main uh, airport, uh, the air entrance gate in, uh, 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 to Israel, uh, after the tourists concluded their trip to Israel. 
Uh, it was done in July 2016, and out of the 464 tourists to answer the survey, we had 414 valid questionnaires. Some demographic data about uh, uh, the sample. We have 53.6% men, and uh, the rest, of course, women. 52.6 were single, and the rest were either married or live with someone. The average party size visit in Israel was 1.44. The average length of stay was nine days. Uh, regarding income, about 47.8% were below average. 24.4% were uh, average and 27% were above average. Um, so what do the tourists use the, the internet for? What do they do with the internet? Uh, how they use the social media or what kind of social media they use? So before the trip, we had 244 um, uh, people. Um, uh, almost 80% of them use Google. 24% uh, use Facebook, um, TripAdvisor about 38%, and very few use Twitter. During the trip, uh, the percentage of the use of Google drops to 61.4, and the other uh, percentage stays almost the same. Uh, what do they use the social media for? What do they do? With, what do they look for in the social media? So before they trip, the trip, they usually look for flights, 32.1%. Uh, 29.5% looks for hotel. Uh, very few look for attraction and guides. And almost 18% looks for um, sites. About 9% use um, the social media to share their experiences. During the trip, you can see that uh, regarding flights and hotel, those uh, percentage drop significantly, and um, the others change. On, the others stays almost the same, expect, except the sharing experiences that uh, increases to thirty percent. Um, so, when do they look for this? Uh, uh, when do they purchase the? Uh, when do they look for the information and pay, make the purchases? So um, you can see uh, the channels are uh, directly from the hotel, either offline or online, travel agent, either offline, online, and general websites. And the time of purchase during the trip, less than a week before the trip, etc. Et and you can see that directly from the hotel, the total is 7%. Uh, from the travel agent, the uh, total is 6%, and general website is 86.8%. So most people purchase their uh, accommodation using uh, the internet and not directly from hotel or travel agents. And you can see that a week uh, to a month is uh, before the trip is 26.8% and one to two months before the trip is 30%. The other are uh, less uh, uh, smaller uh, numbers. So you can, we can see that we can conclude that most tourists uh, purchase their accommodation between one uh, a week to two months before their trip. Uh, also, you can see that the number of uh, people that responded to this uh, section is only 301. So about 20% of the uh, independent tourist visit in Israel uh, does not purchase accommodation at all. Either they stay with family or friend or they do couch surfing. So they don't actually purchase accommodation and it, this needs to be uh, considered. Okay, um, how about the satisfaction level? Uh, so you can see this uh, represents the level of satisfaction on a Likert scale, scale from one to five. So directly from the hotel, the, uh, uh, the average was 4.14. Uh, from the travel agent and from the general website, it was less, it was 3.9 and 3.8. Um, if we try to look at the satisfaction level uh, concerning the time of purchase, so uh, 
more than six months it was higher and then it decreases uh, to 3.54, but if you purchase it during the trip, then it increases again. Um, at the end, we did a regression and we tried to find out what are the factors that uh, affect the level of expenses on accommodation. So uh, the different variables were nights, uh, party size, age, use of social media, risks, education level, uh, origin country, staying in hotel, married, uh, deep, deep relates to the number of sites you visited in Israel, three and more means you had a a deeper visit, gender, holiday, a visit in friends and relatives, business, repeated visit, and low cost flights. So uh, this is a, 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 the table that summarized the regression we made. Uh, we have a general OLS, and in addition, we had a, a, for different a, a quartiles or a, so uh, for the 0 0.9, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and 0 0.1. And this summarizes only uh, significant variables. So you can see that age was significant on, on tourists with high level of expenses, the 0 0.9 and the 0 0.75. Uh, you can see that uh, the low cost uh, had a negative uh, um, influence on the 0 0.75 uh, on, on the, the those with a higher level of expenses. Um, the party size was um, significant for uh, in the general OLS in the 0 0.9 and the 0 0.5 and party size uh, was, oops, I'm sorry, uh, USA was significant for the 0 0.75, Rush, Russia was uh, significant in the 0 0.9, and uh, Germany for low level uh, tourists. Uh, staying at hotel, you can see, was significant in all cases, and uh, I cannot see the bottom of it, and business was significant uh, for the very high a, a expenses level, but also for, for the very low a, a expenses level. And this is the generally and there uh, it. Any questions? It worked. Yes, please. If you have any question for the Sharon and Shlomit, you can um, raise your question in the Q and A. You can raise your question in the chat or you can just raise your hand and I will I can give you the right to speak. And you can then discuss with the Sharon and all other people in the call this interesting topic, I would say. I hope we'll be available to travel soon again without any restriction. <laughs> so it's possible in some countries, for instance, I heard recently that it's possible for us from Serbia to travel to Netherlands without any restriction which is very nice. So I, I hope really that this um, COVID situation will be over soon. So any question from the audience? From, for, for Sean and Shlomit. Mm, there is one comment in the chat. Okay. Can you open that, Sharon? And... I will try, yeah. The multivariant regression you followed, which one is? Shlomit, you want to answer? Yeah, it was a QR, quantile regression. It's not a multi-level, it is a QR method, and it estimates for it the appropriate regression model. Thank you, Shlomit, for the response. Yeah, I, I think this topic is quite interesting and I think the, the methodology can even be applied to some maybe other domains, at least partially. And 
I would just like to say thank you very much for being the part of the conference. In the case there are some additional questions, uh, the audience can raise that in Q&A and you can you know, respond to that via text message or you can be in contact via email after the conference, of course. Now it's time for the short uh, virtual coffee break. So uh, refresh yourself and be back in uh, 15 minutes when we will start the next session related to the bibliometrics with the magnificent Professor Ruth Leidesor who will present the first one.